Yeah, the story of John Comer. I mean, I just remember being so stoked seeing the ad of his in the magazine. At first glance, it looked like an ordinary ad, but when I looked harder, I saw that he was kick flipping and his leg was coming off. So seeing that as a kid blew my mind. You know, like just being able to see another dude skateboarding with a missing leg the same way I'm missing my leg, it just spoke volumes to me. John's ad and then uh, researching and doing some homework and seeing all his videos part definitely inspired me. Um, what inspired me the most though was how he just put himself out there. You know, you could tell he never used it as a pity card. You could tell that like from his gravitas and confidence, like he just accepted himself for who he was. So seeing that at a young age really helped me because it made me less self-conscious about my prosthetic leg. So as I got older, I started skating in shorts more. You know, I started walking around with uh, my hands out of my pocket more. You know, before that, I'd, I'd always have them in my pocket all the time. You know, I'm open the way I am now because of John. You know, I hope someday some kid out there with a missing leg sees me skating and gets inspired. I hope they're inspired the same way I was. <laughs> See how joints you get? You got a prosthetic leg. A prosthetic? Yeah, that means like it's a it's like a it's like a fake leg basically. Fake leg. Yeah, yeah look that's at that. It. And he goes back there and rips. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. It's pretty awesome, huh? Yeah. Nothing holds holds him back. Yeah, man, no no guys limits. Are doing it. You gotta live beyond the limits, man. It's really cool. <laughs> Going to the skate park, nobody cared, you know, like that I was handicapped for the skateboarders. Nobody cared like they did with other things. Like if I walked up to the basketball court, people would murmur or whatever. But at the skate park, nobody really did that. I did have doubts at first going, I'm not going to lie. You know, I was fearful that there were going to be kids that were going to be ruthless to me. Like I've had, uh, like I've had problems with other traditional sports. But that didn't really happen. You know, I was hesitant at first, but I just manned up and skated because I wanted to skate, you know? So after just going there every day, after school, I became a local, and uh, the kids there, they weren't really mean or nothing. They weren't punks or bullies. They didn't call me names or anything like that. They were just welcoming, really. You know, you can be from any walk of life. It doesn't matter, you know, who you are, where you're from. We can all share that simple feeling of riding a skateboard, and, and for me, that's the beauty in it all.
Yeah, I definitely realized the importance of putting myself out there now. You know, John's courage helped inspire me to get out of my shell. And all I can hope is I can be that dude for someone else in the next generation of adaptive skateboarding. <laughs>